LSU waits tonight. Scheduled start time of 7.30 Eastern against the loser of this one. It'll be a tough double header. The winner of this one will move directly into Saturday's second double header. A lot of people in this league are unfamiliar with the level at which he plays. Knight handled Florida loss in a Friday night matchup earlier this season in Gainesville. 9 and 0 oh with a 288. This guy's electric. 2 2 to Lippin. Swing and a miss. That's 93 from Blaine Knight. Let's take a look at games here in this tournament yesterday. Slider hit to left field. Maldonado's on the board. And that sets the table for the SEC Player of the Year. Swing and a miss on a fastball inside that time. Blaine Knight with two Ks. A borderline call that went against Kowar. And then he misses a little bit low for leadoff walk to Luke Bonfils. When I was playing against Florida, they were awesome. I mean, dominant. Never won. So I, I Hold on a coach. second. This ball is cranked down the line, and it is way out of here. It's a two-run bomb for Casey Martin. That is his third of the tournament. Casey Martin didn't even move until that ball hit the parking lot. He knew right off the bat that that ball was gone. And he knows what a home run looks like. Like you said, his third home run of the tournament. And Arkansas, who we said, I mean, that power is their deal. Look at him. That ball was crushed. And this you have to have been there before. <laughs> yeah. He's hit a few in high school, I'm sure. But at this level, and to do that, wow. I'd stay over. I'd stay out there as long as I had to until they all left. Blaine Knight is all over at 92 over the black and up and in and hustling down the line of ball four is Brady Smith. It's the first walk College World Series 93 to third flagged down by Martin to second for one shatty to first and Arkansas turns a double play to race the lone walk of the game from Blaine Knight. And then that's him. So you're at the plate and you got that big thing wrapped around your finger and it's just tough to not think about. It distracts you. Eric Cole dumps the base hit into left field. And he squeezes one down the line. A little masse for Durand. He's trying to go for two. Cole's throw comes in late. Dude has only had five at bats all year. Breaking ball, flick to center field. Fletcher, yes, he got it! And a fire to third! Double play! The best center fielder in the SEC does it again! Maldonado does a good enough job to put it in the outfield, but Dominic Fletcher, you said it, the best center fielder in the game right there, not only makes the play, but a quick transfer and an accurate throw to third base to get Arkansas out of this inning. That was an incredible play. It's not just the glove, it's the presence of mind to get up and show off the can, and he's done it all season. He does it again. To the end of the dugout at first base side and ran into Sully. Catch that. Throw him out, Nick. But um, saw Sully, so we started. I sat down with Sully. And that was a bad sign. You were the class clown, though, weren't you? I kind of thought of myself more of a jester, but sure. <laughs> half of the fourth first of three today off the cap night awkward throw over the top and Dalton is able to advance the runner on a squibber that goes 70 feet Brothers foul ball eight ball in the corner pocket chopper night looks second comes home tag made great vision by Blaine Knight not so much yesterday and two outs, but Blaine Knight has the wherewithal. He was going to go to second for the double play. Florida wants him to throw home. If it is a double play ball, that clearly was not. And so if you're Jonathan India, he must have heard you. This one lifted into shallow right. Will Dalton coming on, lays out and comes up empty. Well, he was playing really deep for Kershaw, which you can understand. Runner goes. Ball four, two on for Arkansas. A whole lot of time bunting. Who's bunting in travel ball? Down the line past Smith. Kerstad will be waved home. Dalton's throw comes into second. The Razorbacks have runners at the corner, setting it up for Casey Martin. Easier plays. Line drive into left field. Bonfield has scored. Throw to third. India kept the tag on him to end the inning. Fletcher slid right through the bag. Aido 
last year. So when you when you want to say that baseball is all pitching, you got to have those guys. Look at this ball carrying. It is gone. Jonathan India sends it to straightaway center. <laughs> Eddie Newsom went out there and held up his fist like it was caught. It never hit the glove. It's a home run. I don't know why Newsom's trying to deke us. I hope he's Mike. Fist. To third. Here's Martin. One down. 49 Ks and 22 walks for Lowski, mechanical engineering major. And this is a really good Arkansas bullpen. You can go Lowski to Cronin. You think of Mike Rivera. Strike three call on Shiflet. He went from Lowski. Look at all the movement before he pitches. There's a method to his madness as he strikes out Jonah Duran. Out of the gates, he's gotten two double plays in two innings. And when they call the double play a pitcher's best friend. There's no more better example of that than right here. Second hit of the game for Casey Martin. And now, not only the infielders need to keep the tag down. And stealing out that way. But base stealers can work their way around the tag, unlike ever before. On deck, he's already homered today. And he'll come to the plate with two on. The Arkansas dug at all. We got a four to one strikeout to walk ratio. He's not going to walk anybody. I mean, he's going to challenge you. Cutters on the outside corner, sliders. <laughs> Strike three call. Big time pitch by Cronin. Froze India with 94. He's ball four, and the bases are loaded. Lifted to center field. Fletcher back on the run. Will haul it in. Tagging from third is Lippett. Fletcher's throw goes to third, and that was a lot closer than it usually is. A sack fly for Langworthy, and it's a two-run game. Got him swinging. Cronin with the K. He strikes out two here in the eighth, preserving the Arkansas lead. Baker loses Gates. Line drive up the middle. Lifted down the left field line. Langworthy into the corner. Well, footing has been an issue for the outfielders. It, this. Hey, Tom, right here. They got cursed, Dad. And the hit batter will load the bases. Hunter Wilson from Spyro, Oklahoma, 256 average and eight driven in. And he lifts this one high and deep to right field. Dalton's going to run out of room. It's gone. A grand slam for Hunter Wilson. And a sprint around the bases. His first plate appearance with the bases loaded this season. He has earned the hog hat. Baker's man was Heston Kerstad. The lefty on lefty matchup hits him. And wow, that ball was pumped to right field and seemingly put this game out of reach. Six run lead. We talked about the game last year in the semifinals. Arkansas beats Florida 16 to nothing. How about the primal scream coming around third? <laughs> Strike three called. He goes down swinging, and that's the fourth strikeout of the game for Matt Crona. And Cronin goes 92 to finish it off. He K's the side in the ninth. What has been a remarkable year rolls on for the Razorbacks. Great pitching from Arkansas. Blaine Knight started off uh, uh, Barrett Lowski and now Matt Cronin closing the door on the Florida Gators with three big strikeouts in the ninth. And by, by the way, struck out Jonathan India with first and second. Nobody out in the eighth. That electric fastball was effective for Matt Cronin today.